Do your Pokemon stats look like this? Well, today I'm going to teach you guys how to EV train your Pokemon. So your Pokemon go from looking like this to this. First, I'm going to be talking about effort values. Effort values or EVs are a way to increase the stats of a Pokemon based on a Pokemon you defeat. So let's say you defeat a Zigzagoon. A Zigzagoon will give you one speed EV. But if you defeat a Pokemon like Clefairy, it will give you two HP EVs. And depending on the Pokemon you defeat, you will get EVs in either one to two stats, ranging from one to three EVs. There's a maximum of 252 EVs per stat and 510 EVs total. And in order to EV turn your Pokemon, you're going to need an XP share. So you could put your high level Pokemon in the first slot of your party while allowing the rest of your team to gain evs but what if i were to tell you guys that you can increase the amount of evs you can get yes if you buy a macho burst from the bp shop or the power items at the arcade you can increase the amount of evs you gain by putting these items on your pokemon the macho burst will multiply your pokemon's evs by two meaning if you defeat a pokemon who gives you one ev the macho burst will give you two evs and you can use the macho burst to ev train any stat but if you put on a power item like the power weight which helps you gain hp evs the power weight will give you four hp values regardless regardless of who you defeat, but if you defeat a Pokemon who gives you HP EVs, it will give you 5 to 7 HP values. And this is how every power item works. So where can I EV train my Pokemon at? Let me show you. First, we're going to go over speed. Head over to Rose Coast City, run to Route 9, and battle Camper Pal, who will help you EV train your Pokemon in speed. Next, we're going to go over special attack. And depending on where you're at in the story, you can either head over to the volcano in Route 6 and battle this trainer, or fly over to Port Deca, run to the beach, and battle the trainer next to the staircase to give you special attack attack EVs. Now I'm going to go over physical attack. Head over to a radius city, run to route 11 and battle rising star Darren. He'll also give you a lot of money so bring a luck and sense while you're at it. With special defense, this one's pretty tricky. You're going to head over to Rose Cove city again and run all the way to route 10 to encounter Spoink, Floet, or Compe, giving you one to two special defense EVs but with the items it will give you more. Physical defense is the easiest stat to EV train in my opinion since you need to head over to Kurgonos cliffs and battle the hiker below this patch of grass. And there's a Pokemon center here too which makes it easier for you to EV train your Pokemon. Finally, we're going to go over HP. Now for HP, there are several locations you can EV train HP at. You can either battle Clefairy, Makuhita, and Laudred at Route 14, head over to the Victory Road, and battle Nurse Girl Joy or battle this trainer at Route 15. It should take you around 17 battles to finish EV training a stat, but if you want to speed this process up even faster, you can head over to the Roll Powers tab and purchase the EV training Roll Powers which will make your process even faster. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this tutorial helped you a lot. And if you enjoyed watching this video, make sure you drop a like and hit that subscribe button. And with that being said, I'm out.